I hadn't it's met it. I hadn't met these two on the day until the day of recording our application. <laughs> yeah, it was very last that minute. Me, I messaged we everybody. We met thirty and was minutes. Like, What's we, up? We, we, we talked. We talked for the first time thirty minutes before we recorded the application. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> crazy. Hello, hello, hello. This is Duchepo, and welcome to. MCC Central interviewing Purple Pandas with Lynn Rose, Bubble Brook, Spelda, and Christina with an L in her username. So, ah. ow. <laughs> I just let, know I can punch you, I'm sorry. Let, let, let me, we have here, we got the team here, we got questions. So, we can start off with a very, well, one of the viewers asked you guys, um, when did you last touch grass? Today. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm actually yeah. allergic to grass, so... <laughs> a thousand years ago. Thousand. I've been grinding MCC for so long I've forgotten what the sun looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> it did, and got sunburned. Right, with that um, report, would you mind taking us on to our first real question? Uh, yeah, with our first real question, we have... Why do you call yourselves the girls and the gays? Well... That was kind of... A last minute decision because we were going through the application Google form and there was a question that's what your what's your team name and I was filling it out and I kind of panicked and I just sent a quick question in the group chat saying hey does girls and gays work <laughs> <laughs> listen we represent uh, out here we do <laughs> and uh, I mean we are proper. all girls and or on the LGBTQ plus spectrum in some shape or form yeah yeah Next question we have, what does LGBTQ plus and disability representation in MCC really mean to you all? I think representation is a massively important aspect of life regardless of what form of media you're consuming. So I think the fact that we get to be here representing those communities for other people to look at and say, hey, I see someone like me playing in this event for a video game that I love dearly with my whole heart is a really cool thing. I mean. We get to we get to be the what is the word I guess the trailblazers in a way. Yeah. Um, I know there's I know like there's been other disabled and LGBTQ plus participants, but I don't know. I think having a team with multiple just feels really exciting. Yeah, yeah. we've 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 got a lot of representation. We're an all women team, and we've got various LGBTQ plus and various disabilities that we're out here representing, and it, it's it's really nice to be representing that. Yeah, and it's 100%. really cool that we're all in a lot of different types of communities. We kind of come from all different parts of the Minecraft community, so it's cool to represent like kind of all of that as well. Yeah, yeah Rich really mixed bag. What was the process of making your guys' application? So, Lynn assembled the group, and this was like on the Friday, and the, the video was meant to be in on the Monday. So on the Friday evening, basically, the group got assembled, and I basically went, hey, I have an idea. Let me know if you guys are chill with it. And I basically put the idea that kind of, it changed a little bit, but it ended up being the final one. And everyone went, yeah, that sounds awesome. And then the next day we met some of us for the very first time and recorded it. We all, I scripted the entire thing, but we all contributed little bits. Like people re-scripted their own lines to what actually would sound like them. And then we built the little set that we were on spelled a built the little set that we were on um very quickly and we just recorded the whole thing with replay mod and then we all went away and i started working on my bit and everyone worked and made their own in our application there's almost little fake application portions everyone made their own one so when someone goes my idea is it switches to the thing that they made themselves and on the Sunday evening, it was 90% put together, I think only missing Christina's bit because there'd been an issue with rendering. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that was when we recorded the Discord bit at the end because we had to have part of the video to record the last part to fourth wall break again. <laughs> no. And then I was very sick, but I managed to pull it all together right at uh, like, what, something like three hours before the application's closed or something? Oh my gosh, that something is like cutting... That. That's Pulled cutting it yeah. together. Holy yeah. Crap. But we'll put in wow. a lot of work on that one, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. 
Um, next question is, since some of you, specifically Christina and Lynn Rose, have plenty of experience in high pixel bed wars, what is like the grind for you or what was like the grind for you? How do you think it's going to translate to MCC Rising? I think that's a great question. Some of our skills, at least I can I can't speak for me, I can't speak for Lynn. I think some of our skills like team communication and speed bridging have really come in handy for certain events in this. However, like it's a completely different PVP style, which has been an, a huge learning curve, and I'm still yeah. learning it as we speak right now. Like I uh -huh, I'm yeah. such a spam clicker. I don't know how to time hits for like crits, you know? Yeah. So like I think there are a lot of positive things that from our experience on high pixel bed wars translate over um like just the whole idea of like anybody could come at you from any direction and those things but otherwise it's i feel as blindsided as everybody else yeah i feel like not many of the skills transfer over um it's probably the biggest one is game sense and maybe bridging yeah. but knowing what the settings are in Menu. Knowing, knowing what the sensitivity button means. Knowing <laughs> what DPI is. Not that I didn't know that. Of course, I totally knew what DPI was. I wasn't so on sixteen hundred. DPI. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're we're very much going through a huge learning curve. Though we've spent the last what like two and a half weeks, just completely learning everything there is to know about one point nine PVP and all of these custom game modes that Noxcrew has. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't know about you, Lynn, but I completely stopped playing 1.8 to fully focus my attention to this. Yeah, I pretty mm -hmm. much stopped playing Bird Wars anyway, um, just because it was time for a change for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just have not looked back pretty much. I don't want to start confusing things. All right, so we got a viewer question here from Super Bug Boy. What team other than you guys are you most scared of? And MCC Rising, because I know you guys are gonna be like awesome, so you guys are scared <laughs> yourselves. But what other team in uh, Rising Two are you scared of most? Cyan, they're really well rounded. Mm -hmm. Cyan are pretty strong. Yeah, um, Four C is insanely good at parkour. It's terrifying to watch. <laughs> that is true. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Lime are pretty good at things like dodge bolts and. I mean, obviously that transfers over to if we play Meltdown and stuff. They're pretty strong bowers. We've been playing against them in Dodgeball a lot, and they're just unmatched, to be honest. Oh yeah, okay. So, um, Ripcord, do you want to ask the very last question? Uh, yeah. Alright, so for the final question, this interview is a pretty basic one, but also has, is going to have a lot of depth to it, I guess. And I guess you could all really give your insight on this one, but... What are your plans after Rising 2, and what do you guys plan on doing, whether that's content, or maybe taking a break, or maybe just like, you know, I don't know, embracing the MCC community more? I don't know. Let, let's hear it. Dude, I have so many lectures to catch up on, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get back on all the stuff we've been neglecting while we've been practicing yeah. for Rising. Oh my I god, mean... sleep for a whole night. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. Paul Lynn has been waking up so early. She's been waking up so early because our time zones are so set apart. I yeah. have like I can only stay up so late, which means she has to wake up early, and I feel super bad about it. Oh, that's yeah, that's it's okay. definitely. On a content note, I think a lot of us have been recording or at least clipping bits from training. I'm planning to make. I'm planning to make a video. I'm gonna make a video. I'm planning to make a video. And I think then I'm... all of us are planning to yeah. make as much content out of it as we can because. Who knows if we're ever going to be in like something like this ever again? It's yeah, it's truly insane. Yeah, I mean, definitely. But after that, I'm I'm going back to my Gen S P content. That, that's that's my plan. That's you know I'm not gonna <laughs> leave it behind. I don't know. I've met we've met some really cool people. I'm definitely closer friends with these two. I'm probably going to do more stuff with them in the future. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back to what I was doing because I've, I've got some stuff to finish up. <laughs> And my other plan after MCC Rising is to hopefully get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you will get it. Surely. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Get woman. Listen, I'm, I'm trying. I'm putting myself out there, you know? <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Hey, listen. Um, thank you guys so much for your time here. Um, yeah. There's going to be one more in just three hours time from now. It's going to be Orange Oslets. 
So hey, nice. Do you want to you 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 watch tell them, them that purple pandas is winning? Okay. <laughs> tell them, no, tell them, tell them we say right. hi and that they look really cute today and that we love them. Well, then we're gonna Aww. beat them in every game. And that give them, and give them a platonic, give them a platonic <laughs> forehead kiss for me, okay? Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. That's the spirit. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. So check out our Discord, yeah, so MCC Central, and other follow us on just. Twitter. Uh, go follow all of these wonderful people on Please. Twitch and all of their other socials because they deserve it. I mean, they're in freaking MCC Rising for crying out loud. So please, dude, that's crazy. Go please. show them support. Yeah. Please go them support. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Purple Pandas, for joining us in our interview. And yeah, I'll yeah, catch thank you guys, guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Catch you guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. There are some more footage that we have recorded with the Purple Pandas, so you might want to check out MCC Insight this Friday at 8.30pm BST. Until then, thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.